Do not worry. اهلا وسهلا فيكم يا جماعه ويلكم تو ابيسود 138 اوف دو نوت وري فولكس معكم انتوني الهوست ومعنا نور وليجا uh, كانترنز ككرو فور توداي هاوز ات جوين سبونسرد باي فيل اند ويل فولكس عندنا كيس فيل اند ويل وزنه 5 كيلو حدنا هلا وي غانا اكشلي غانا ستارت ايتينغ ات بريتي ايرلي بس فيرست از دكتور فود ان جيل وين دكتور فود فولكس بدنا نعرف هل هو بالحبس وي هاف تو توك اباوت ذا ترامب بايدن ديبيت انا كامريكان سيتيزن فولكس لازم اي هاف تو كومنت اون ذا شيت شو يلي عم يصير هلا بامريكا فولكس بيس كنزي اميس ذا جايز ايفري وير فولكس اسمه زاك بويري وي غانا توك وي غانا لوك ات سم اوف ذا سبونسرد ادز على تيك توك ذير ايفري وير ذير هوربل بس هيز كايند اوف فاني ار مان بي لبنان اوبريسد ار وي فيسينغ اوبريشن وين We're going into restaurants and nightclubs specifically. Simple butter. I'm being defined on halon halla from copyright infringement. They're insisting on machas and ma'amlo shigalat. In fact, Swiss butter. Who is sada sauce? Man, mahal tene. And is Lebanon on the brink of war yet again? We've been asking this question for eight months. We shall ask it one more time today. Mitmanna, this episode is sponsored by Phil and Will, our good friends. You can get 20% off, folks, at Phil and Will. Be amazing when you dine in or take away. Just tell your waiter, do not worry, and you're going to get 20% off your whole bill. It is good for another two weeks, folks. I'm going to July 18th to take advantage of this offer. Anja, do not miss out. But before we dig into this delicious food, let us just take a second to thank our amazing patrons, without whom Mafina Nami Hey the show. We depend on our patrons. Amazing blonde patrons, Mr. Malik UX, Marian S, Mustafa Zelzali, Maher Sayis, Fat Phoenician, Tony the Girl, Salami, Mark Iwan, uh, superhero patrons like Dr. Ra, Johns Hopkins, Spine Surgeon, Luayet Faili, Luayet Faili, sorry, Bonnie Meher Krikorian, Ryan Nabulsi, Dr. William Watt for the boobs, Dr. One Half of Phil and Will. And got your patrons like Rifat Fakih, Burgery, Elia Al Mujabber, Jessica Ann, Jack Sleeman. Usisu Hayek, thank you guys so much. If you guys would like to support this channel, make sure we can keep this independent YouTube channel going, folks. Away from corporate corruption or censorship, uh, please consider supporting us on Patreon. I cannot pay the interns without your help. And we're working on a second YouTube channel. And by the way, uh, uh, our patrons are going to get to see our first video early. Hello, uh, maybe in like a week or something. Stay tuned. We're going to drop it. You're going to see it before anyone else. Like a full month early. We want your opinion. Hello, what we're working on. Fa. Consider joining Patreon. Uh, it's super fun. It's edited by me. Yeah, Noor is editing the new videos. Fa. Uh, <laughs> yeah, hello. <laughs> join. Join Patreon. Uh, we appreciate you. Well, enough of that. It's time, folks. In Nairobi, we've been sponsored by the amazing Phil and Will uh, for the whole month. Uh, normally, we would sponsor the ads in the whole episode because, you know, we're, we're spacing it out. Shway. We give you guys a break. We take a break. Everyone's hungry. We can't just let this food sit by. I don't want to eat it. I don't When I said, like, she's 5 kilos of food, Phil promised that he was going to feed us like animals and he was not. Hooded chips, first of all. They're handmade, hand-cut chips that they make every day. Fresh. Everyone gets a little bag of fresh chips, the crisps. Okay, I, I know I'm not a pickle fan, but they have, they're huge, they make their own massive, like, dill, American-style pickles. Uh, Inter, you guys like pickles? I want a pickle. I'm up, Shil. You guys get the pickles. Who uh, are the stars of the show? Soul. The sandwiches. I think the pickles, the high on was not chiquilo. What? Sandwiches. The sandwiches. This is bag number one of sandwiches. Few, this has at least two sandwiches in there. Wow. Well, I think we have four. Two or three sandwiches. Maybe, if not more. And we have another bag of sandwiches. Bon appetit. We love you guys. We love you guys. Soufil and Will Anjed. Best as a Kirkon, folks. They are be jamaise. Just look them up on Instagram, on Google Maps, Phil and Will. What uh, a great way to balance the halal. Twenty percent off, folks. Twenty percent. What the fuck? Has sandwich. Oh, yeah. this is the Monte Cristo. This yeah. is. They said oh, that's the one I said. Oh, th- this shit. is the biggest sandwich they have. This, this is the newest addition to the menu, and you can get it for twenty percent off right now, folks. When you go dine in and take away, just tell them. Delicioso do not worry. Delicioso and fill and will. So delicioso, fill and will, Monte oh, Cristo. The <gasps> They've also sent yeah, us. I, like, uh, they have a burger. That's not. Uh, a burger. I can't read this, but. Panu, panu t- Paradiso. Paradiso, oh my god. And the this si- has like a pistachio pesto and okay. a And the Sicilian. I think and the Sicilian was your favorite, favorite. But I'm going to have half of this because I mean, I think it's also my favorite now. Okay. When we're three people, folks. One <laughs> of <laughs> the <laughs> the Monte Cristo with the family. Give the family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give the family. I think everything is already cut in half. <laughs> Look at that quality, folks. Anjad, top tier quality. A lot of the stuff is imported. They, they, they source local stuff whenever they can. Like... Yani Anjad, what an exemplary sandwich shop. Look at this. 
Uh, I'm gonna take a bite, folks. I've been cutting and looking at the shit for an hour, but I'm gonna This is a focaccia bread. Man, kid, is she? I like to take a bite. I don't want to spoil it. It's Sicilian. Mmm. Mmm. If you guys don't like food content, if you can skip this part, it's gonna be ASMR for the next few minutes. Just remember, 20%, folks. Now July 18th. Two more weeks. Hadam not to take advantage of this. Anjad, we wouldn't work with them if it, if it wasn't a restaurant that we liked. And we enjoyed eating at anyways. Yeah, If I didn't genuinely love it, go. Mm. Oh my god. When I that my bacon right now, I'm so weak because I have to talk and I can't talk. So this I'm just so good. I'm just not gonna. I'm gonna try to talk and, and eat at the same time. Show about your options. Anjad, this is like literally hands down. I think the best sandwich place in Lebanon. Oh, that's the delicioso. Oof. I'd like to remind you guys, they have halal options. I actually, went with Karin uh, to the shop last week. She got to order some halal options. It was kind of funny. Our very own Muslim representative. I love that we have someone from Nkil Taif. Oh, look at those huge pickles. Do you want to share one? Like Osmalla. Is one of you guys Dirze by any chance? Dizzy? Dirze. No. You know what the Jews do to these motherfuckers, don't you? No. If you marry someone outside your religion. Chop, chop, baby. Ah, hell, chabrit al air, Literally, chabrit al air. Do you wanna snap it? I literally. Like what you mean? La. Uh, what you do? Pickle lovers. Wow. I'm gonna take a bite of the delicioso. I think this is the first time I tried this one. I'm not sure. Delicioso indeed, baby. Mm. <laughs> Definitely very delicious. I bet I'm 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 just about to have some different flavors, like actual ingredients. It has parmesan. Some kind of a vinaigrette. Mm -hmm. And I think this is uh, pastrami, maybe. You can check the menu. Mm. You guys will know what's on there. Did I mention you could get 20% off? There's no point for me in eating it then. I'm just not going to enjoy it. Mm. Mm. It's mm. really good. That's a peppery pickle. The vinaigrette and the like delicious is very good. And I think it's bad. Thank you. And I have to host a show. I heard you guys eat. Fiana Joseph and I was hanging out with a crab. Oh, that wow. Anthony is going to do How about you? It's, it's so garlicky. I probably had it. Hello, I'll have a piece. <laughs> Joseph Meadow has been hanging out with animals, uh, foxes, shumakin. Hello, he found a crab. My bad for it. Big fat shumakin. He found the crab. It's near the ocean. It's not even near the beach. I well, saw it. Let's see what's up. Hey, the salt on. Yeah, and what a man. Does just in time for a cancer season. The sandwich is good. The one that you're eating now. Paradiso. <coughs> Paradiso. War be Lebanon, folks. Uh, mm. We've been talking about this <laughs> ever since October 7th. I'm uh, on the possibility of war brewing be Lebanon, between Hezbollah and Israel. The north has been under non-stop attack. We've had over 430 uh, martyrs, people been that have been killed by Israel. Both civilians and fighters, like Hezbollah, but also they're civilians. They live in Lebanon. Lebanonians, like us, like us. These are just messages, some things from Al Jazeera off of Instagram. Quick, and all the things you see when you open up Instagram, very casually, you see them as you're scrolling the internet. For you know, exciting stuff. Canadian citizens. Uh, Canada's military sets out evacuation plans to extract its citizens from Lebanon. So the Canadians are getting ready for worst case scenarios. Only according to Al Jazeera, Canada's military has drawn up evacuation plans to extract about 20,000 Canadians from Lebanon as tensions intensify and threats of school of full scale fighting increase between Israel and Hezbollah. The Canadian news outlet CBC reported that General Wayne Aide, the chief of the defense staff, that's his name, folks. I'm not making it up. The chief defense staff said on Wednesday that the plan relied on Canada's allies to help facilitate the evacuation. We can't do it alone, Ada said. It will very much be a coalition <laughs> effort. And we are tightly tied in, very tight, with our allies. But despite the plans for a possible evacuation, Ada acknowledges that he was very concerned about the prospect of war between Israel and Hezbollah this summer. He added that a military team was currently in Lebanon and coordinating with the embassy in Beirut. Blah, blah, blah. But if you think that Canadians are the only ones being pussies, you'd be wrong because the Germans... Those lovable Germans who are not overreacting to what's happening be Israel and Palestine at all. Here's they're also urging its citizens to leave Lebanon urgently. And Hala, pack your shit and get the fuck out. Germany, by the way, who now, if you want to become a German citizen, you have to recognize Israel's right to exist. You cannot become a German citizen without recognizing Israel's right to exist. You know what? Fuck you, Germany. 
Fuck you, you pieces so of shit. hard to like make up for the Holocaust. You motherfuckers murdered Kid Shifi Jews fucking four, 60 years ago. You fucking did this, you motherfuckers. And now here you're at trying to beat you. You guys are the fucking worst. Fuck you. Fuck your culture. Fuck your fucking food. Your people seem like the worst, to be honest with you. Hey, yeah. no, I don't ever want to. I don't want to yeah, visit Germany. True. I have no reason to ever want to visit Germany. Fuck your sausages. Fuck your bratwurst. Fuck all that <laughs> shit. Fuck your beers. No one likes beers. It makes you just go pee. I'm just fucking fuck that shit. Fuck yeah. beers, go for fill and will. Fill and will. Honestly, the best thing to drink is hada, folks. Now, this is the German. The German foreign ministry has updated its travel guidance for the country, saying German nationals are urgently requested to leave Lebanon. Get the fuck out. The German high intentions and the, the current high intentions in the border area w with Israel could escalate further at any time. The ministry explained, blah, blah, blah. Ain't nothing new here. And here we have Yoav Galant, folks. He says, Israel warns... Uh, Israel warnings can send Lebanon. Uh, Israel warns. <laughs> Israel warns that they can send Lebanon back to the Stone Age as UN seeks de-escalation. So Israel has said it does not want war in Lebanon, but could send its neighbor back to the Stone Age. They've said <laughs> this. They, they, they've been saying this for months. Coming to the Stone Age thing. As the UN humanitarian affairs chief warned, such a conflict would be potentially apocalyptic. We do not want war, but we are preparing for every scenario, Israel Defense Minister Yoav Galant told reporters on Wednesday in Washington, D.C. Hezbollah understands very well that we can inflict massive damage in Lebanon if a war is launched. For their part, Hezbollah, Kamina, they threatened, like, they're like, even if Cyprus, if, like, if you let the Israeli government use your airport to conduct any attack against Lebanese soil, we will attack you. So... This could explode at any moment. Anna, for example, I have a bunch of friend who fam friends and family asking, like, should we come visit? I'm telling them, maybe now's not the best time, even though a lot of experts are saying, probably it's not going to turn out into an all-out war. But so no. Like, let's be real. In good conscience, I can't tell anyone to come. or. It's been it, but it is it is really worse than ever. It keeps getting worse. At the border, it's worse. And from what I see, it's all bark, no bite. Both parties عم بيعوا على بعض برو بس ما حدا منهم عم بيعمل شيء وكل وقت انه انا حدت انا حنكك وانا حكسرك وانا Problem is Netanyahu desperately needs to stay in power and if he doesn't have some kind of war going on his people are going to come after him and they're going to fucking make him step down or they're going to replace him but it's his it's, it's in his best interest to keep the war going and if he has to fight Hezbollah to stay in power he will fucking put his own greedy needs and desires to stay in power ahead of anything. What's best for his... He, whatever is best for Israel, he doesn't give a fuck. The best thing for Israel is a one-state solution to have everyone live freely together. That's how you guarantee Jewish safety around the world. Not by doing what he, the fuck he's doing. So. But anyways, what, for example, if you guys had friends or family wanting to come, would you tell them to come or not? If we have some viewers watching, Athens of, of, of Lebanon. Do they like come? I have a very no. My mom, for example, uh, my sister is gonna visit her in Greece. I wanna see if I can it in a few months. Through. Yeah, like, for example, my sister's best friend wanted to visit in a couple of months, but she's bringing like her. She has an Italian husband. Who, like she's my sister's like, don't bring your family. Like in case they get stuck here. I don't know, like you don't want, and she has like a young baby, so she she asked me to give her advice. I was like, <laughs> no, my sister's best friend. Ah, I was, no, no, I'm, I'm not an uncle. I was like, probably tell them not to come, but so no. Most likely, nothing's gonna happen, but like, if someone's depending on that. Like the situation gets fucked. So my heke, but so here, not in the north, life feels normal to be honest with you. But say the naked, you have the country is split. You have someone that is literally Gaza. People are getting bombed on the daily. White phosphorus. Is there gonna be a war? The way we're talking about it, no Is it gonna escalate? Is it gonna become? Is it, are they gonna hit everywhere? Or are they gonna close the airport? That's what we're asking. But anyways, uh, Zach Boyd, folks, peace, Kenze Amis. Anab Sami, he looks like the Lebanese liver king, so he's not as buff as Lebanese. Alad, Alad. be liver king. Uh, why know him? He's he's taken uh, tic, uh, yeah, so, so, social media by storm. Everyone I, I know. He's getting invited for interview podcasts. He's everywhere. Uh, let's watch. He's doing a lot of ads. That's when <clears throat> that's the stuff that gets my attention. But uh, first, let's see some OG videos. Bishu Maruf. This is the whole gimmick. I'm not sure if I'm going to get a lot of When I see this, these characters, maybe I would have been like all over the shit. Now, I'm a little older. My brain, it's a brain rot because of TikTok. So it's like, it's like the it's clown of the week. It's new, exciting thing. It's, eh, it's like, you know, it's fun. I appreciate it, though. Peace. <laughs> 
trend of hyperactive men screaming on TikTok. <laughs> How else would you show your alpha? This is the alpha oh of the God. alphas. Now, now, we're two beta for this man. Let's see. اخواتي احلى عالم بالعالم انتو الساعة 12 ونص جون 16 معقول يخلي اخواتي لانه انا ما عندي زبونات عندي اخوة معقول خلي اخواتي ما يعيدوا عيد الاضحى؟ لا والله ليش بلا هيك مزح؟ اكيد ليش بلا هيك مزح؟ مستحيل واللي استغربته اكثر هل الكم الجمهور الكبير عم صور مش فاضي بحي فرحات ولا الشباب صدموني ولا العظيم ابو رجلي قدام البيت بهيدا الوقت ما بيسترجى يمشي للشراسة عنوان الكريز الكريز بنص شارع فرحات مع اخواتي على العالم بالعالم انتو بيس كالزيانيس بس تكون نفسيتك حتى اوكي ذاتس انف هيز مان سبريدنج هو وي شبيخ حرام اي ثينك هيز ا فيري كول جاي ان بيرسون يمكن انه بايدن اتس انتايرلي ا بيرسون بس انه شو الكونتنت هيدا شو الكونتنت اي هاف انا ما خلصني بيال اي دونت ثينك يور بيخ سير ذات مان هاز ماسل هي كود تشوك مي تو ديث So I'm not going to sit here and call him Beyich on <laughs> camera. What content is this? When are boxing three years old? Three years old. Three or five years old. And that man will break my, break my neck in two seconds. It doesn't matter how much boxing I do. Let's watch ads, folks. This is the good part. Here he's on the way to the show. This is not an ad on Asad. It just so happened to be an ad, but it's kind of funny. Look at who's here. Friends, you're the world. You're the world. We're the real world. Ad number one. Does What that make you want to buy chicken? Come follow it, Ando. Like 60,000. Okay, honey, Mr. Bike. It's a Mr. Bike ad. Look at this. Mr. Bike? Mr. Bike? Mr. Bike? This is a great ass, folks. Hey, the budget, Muffy budget, they literally just paid him. But there's an even better one. The Protein District. Hey, they, have you seen this one? Did you wa anyone watch this? No. They, 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 they were like, this is good enough, yalla. Oh, <laughs> Welcome to Protein Thank you so much for He looks camera shy by the way. I think he's camera shy as well. gonna drop something else. It could be pre workout if they could come in. I think the lifespan of these gimmicks on Bi'asaru. Yeah, and maybe two years ago, this would have lasted like a month and a half. Hala, this wouldn't last. I think Ando, she three weeks, and then peace can Zamis is. Well, pass over, he'll get tired Last of it. time. Especially in the shows, he's not comfortable doing it, by the way. He's not comfortable. His body language, but every video, he's, he, you know, his eyes are everywhere. But he's the just fidgeting. When he's talking to someone else, he's very uncomfortable. But that's so. Best, he shakes what you were saying. Mm. Um, last time and first time I saw this guy, it was the first time I see this guy, Ken Waita. The Jovi thing happened. We saw a video of him Tala and no la don't ban TikTok or heck. It wasn't him, I don't know him. It was but another it guy. Was him. You think it was him? It was him. I think it was another bald I think it was a bald man. It He's was bald. him la and I I remember thinking and ye what what a poor man. We need to double check I think it was a bald man. I think it's definitely <laughs> Hello, he does have a friend of ours in common, uh, Elijah. I know we have uh, you know our good friend um, I'll show you. RC perfume! 
Así. No por ni Avengers, bro. I'm like Iron Man or Captain America. Hulk, actually, I should say. I don't know who Abu Rushdie is, by the way. I have no idea. Well, here's a second RC video. This one's kind of funny, too. This, I think, is the best collaboration I've ever seen. This Okay, Lala, I love this. This is very this good, is actually. Good collab. This is a good collab. I, think I, got, I like this guy. I take it back. I take it back. He's yeah, very like good. Him in this I'd like to meet him. I'd like to meet this man. Then, like, it's hard to break through. Hala, Edma Sarfi gimmicks. And this guy kind of made... Everyone in my gym is like, peace, Kenza, Amis, bro. Everyone's into it. So, Estez, Zach Boyde, Sharafna, peace, Kenza, Amis, my man. Uh, all the love. <laughs> Interesting. Quick update, folks. Beef. You know, we've had beef on the show. Everyone keeps complaining that I just have beef my my lalam. <laughs> Quick updates, Allah, <laughs> some pre existing beefs. Tzakaro Firas Zurab or Zorub. This guy right here. Yeah. Remember this guy? Not set up. We talked about him once on the podcast. He's a, a Sigma Sigma. Sigma no, male. No, 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 no. He does he does break dancing, boxing, Sigma poetry, God. all sorts of things. Mabitzakar Shusar. I was talking to him once, and then it turned Balashna and Fitna bad and shit. He became he became an enemy of the show. Then I got on TikTok Live. He started writing comments. I was like, I don't like you. He's like, No, but let me explain. I, when I went to the boxing event last Sunday, he was there. Uh, we we he was right there. He was like, Hey, side going. He walked up to me. He was like, Let's squash the beef. We squashed oh the beef, God. folks. I'm friends with Fidas <laughs> now. We watched the boxing fight together. We sat next to each other for the last fight because his guy was fighting against our guy. Let's just watch a video. Best name Zakir Min. Our boy Firas. Best, the beef has been squashed officially. I just thought I had to announce it, Jan. People need to know. Bintak al Mustabali, the Halijak Binet Jan. Mozam Achlea, Rahikunum and Marta, Yanim and Emma. Is I the Shiha of a Kaye? Yan Enta Malmara Rala. Hulz. Yalatif! Deep shit. Friend of the show. Firas Zarab. A friend of the show. Who would have known? But now, he's officially a friend. <laughs> and remember Kaizi. Remember Kaizi. This man, this is an OG. And we talked about this character. Super OG. Where mean? Yeah, like, he is, were you guys even on the show when we talked about him? You were on the show. Early, early days. I don't even know if he's still been the videos. Okay, so this guy. Let's watch the video. I said, yeah. What's the parking? What's the parking? Okay, so this guy trains at my boxing gym. Come in. Beta was al bit. He drove me home last night, folks. And we rocked out to some music. He was like, I'm listening to this DJ who takes these classic rock songs, AC DC Bamilon, like techno remix. We were rocking out to that shit the whole the whole ride home, folks. He was going fucking crazy. I wanted to shoot a video, it would have been hilarious, but it's the way because he was like, the Lambo? He was literally rocking out. Not in the Lambo, but he has like a nice ass Mercedes, like a uh, four-wheel drive. I'm, it's all like uh, Zayte green, like very nice dark green color. Everything cool. he owns is like <laughs> dark green. He loves dark green. Oh, what's it? He's very close to my to my boxing coach and he's a very good friend of his. I'm seeing him like almost every time I go train now. Nice dude. His name is Rudy. I told him as soon as he walked in, I was like, oh shit, bro. I'm like, we talked about you on my podcast like two years ago. He's like, really? Then he forgot about it the next day. Well, he then didn't ask to see it. I'm gonna. I'm hoping he doesn't remember anything about it. Yeah. He's nice. He's very nice. Uh, he's also, Zekir is like, he's related to Gino Raide. He's either his mom. He's like, he's like his uncle or something. He's related to Gino Raide is what I remember. And I even asked him, I'm like, aren't you related to Gino? He's like, yep, I am. So... Cool. I'm not friends with these folks, guys. Mishbas and Anna, he dropped me. At, I intimately know this man. I've pet okay. his dog. Not uh, Firas. Kaizi. So, little update to, to, to anyone that says all we do is beef with people. No, we don't. And if I run into you in, in person, in public, and you're nice, uh, who knows? We might become friends. 
عقبال جوي تاسيديس عقبال جوي لا جوي تاسيديس هيدا I think it's too late طيب you folks انا I'm an American citizen Some people say that I mention it all the time. So I don't think I talk about being an American. I just like to acknowledge it because when I talk about Palestine and shit, and I like to be like, I have a passport. I can leave anytime. I just think it's important for you to know my background. And no, if you have that disclaimer that I feel I need to make, then oh no, I'm in a different situation than everyone else. Trump, Biden, the debate. There's going to be a lot to talk about. It's all over the place, this thing. But no, I know. Just to, to give you guys my cards, I consider myself a leftist. Yeah, I'm not a Democrat, so I used to vote Democrat. I voted twice in uh, for two in two presidential elections with like in Obama. He was running the first time against John McCain, the next time against Mitt Romney. I was like, ooh, it was my. I was still new to the states. I was living there for the first time. Tamasna, I'm like this thing called democracy. I can vote for a president. That's cool. Tamasna, the Obama campaign was fun. You know, hope, change. I was on campus. Everyone was with all the young kids were with Obama. I'm like, fuck it, let's do it. Voted for Obama. Sold me a dream. Turned out to be a load of bullshit. Neoliberal uh, motherfucker. Piece of shit. Didn't accomplish Obama. anything. Obama. Yeah, he's a piece of yeah, shit. If, he was great for the Americans. Just on paper. But my image. He wasn't even good for the Americans. And I had an awakening. And I had an awakening with Bernie Sanders. When 2016, Bernie Sanders. Bernie's the man. And even though he's fucked up with the Palestine stuff, refusing to call it a genocide, he's still the only person being being extremely vocal about it and stuff. Anyways, so I never voted again because I was like, elections are a sham. Voting is a sham. Uh, the, 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 the whole two-party system is rigged. Democrats aren't going to let certain types of Democrats get ahead. Like Bernie, Bernie's a populist. He actually wanted to help people, lower taxes for... He wanted to raise taxes on the rich. He wanted to give a free college for everyone, uh, free health care. Uh, neoliberals don't want that. So they forced Hillary Clinton down our throats. Then they forced Joe Biden down our throats. Anyways, fuck the Democrats. Uh, and, I would n- and I just, as a, as a and, uh, and also just wanted to clarify, I did not vote for Joe Biden four years ago. I would not vote for Joe Biden now, even though I am a leftist. But so no, to me, I consider myself more of like a, a democratic socialist or a socialist, not a neoliberal. The Democratic Party, as it exists today in the States, does not represent me in any way, shape, or form. They're literally Republicans, but they support gay rights. That's it. <laughs> uh, there's nothing, you know, differentiating them. Salah so Trump is also a piece of shit. Anyways, Biden and Trump had a debate. We've all known Biden is very old. Biden is like 81 years old right now. But you know, he's been in the, his, his uh, mental acuity has been in decline. For years, it was clear four years ago when he was running against Trump the first time that he was old and that he could barely remember what the fuck he was saying. But for some reason, they still let him run and pass. Well, anyways, let's just watch some of his debate, Ma, Ma Trump, because for, for the first time ever, it has been extremely clear. It was made very clear to anyone watching that Khirfain is that Literally, Joe Biden, Khirfain, he doesn't know where the fuck he is. He doesn't know where the fuck, what the fuck he's saying. The only reason he's able to stand there and talk for an hour and a half is because they're pumping him full of fucking drugs, bro. Adderall, whatever the fuck they're giving him. Uh, this man is not functional. So, I'm giving Michelle on. Exactly. So, here's just the, the, the most viral example of him losing his train of thought. All right, what I'm going to do is fix the tax system. For example, we have a thousand trillionaires in America. I mean, billionaires in America. And what's happening? They're in a situation where they, in fact, pay 8.2% in taxes. If they just paid 24%, 25%, either one of those numbers, they've raised $500 million, billion dollars, I should say, in a 10-year period. We'd be able to right wipe out his debt. We'd be able to help make sure that all those things we need to do, child care, elder care, making sure that we continue to strengthen our health care system, making sure that we're able to make every single solitary person uh, uh, eligible for what I've been able to do with the, uh, mm-hmm. with, with, with the COVID, excuse me, with um, dealing with everything we have to do with, uh, look. He doesn't have to Medicare. say anything. Thank you, President uh, Biden. President but, Trump. Well, he's right. He did beat Medicare. He beat it to death. I laughed out loud when he's. I was watching this live. I laughed out loud when he said it because he's not. He's supposed Medicare is a good thing. They're supposed to grow Medicare and give Medicare to more people. He's, he wanted to say, I guess we finally beat COVID. He's like, we finally beat Medicare after pausing for twenty seconds. Mama, I don't even know what he said. Yeah, he's like, I don't know. What he, I don't think he knows what he said. Trump I don't think he knows. Him, Trump no. was great. Like, Trump, bad. Trump was really. Yeah, Trump sucks. Everything Trump said was a lie. Mommy would cheese. Just say the most. Hey, I'm the good though. guy. He's the bad. It's like best. No, it's like he just sounded like he knew what he was saying. He just sounded. He seemed cohesive. He seemed like he was awake. Yeah, that's it. He's like, oh, he's a functional old man. 
Trump only has upper hand because of Biden's old age. Because exactly. Trump isn't that much younger. Trump is 78, but Biden خلاص مبين تعبين bro. He's literally مبين عنده dementia. Some kind of memory loss. You know what I mean? Bro, he looks him. like a fucking corpse. He sounds so tired. He's literally a corpse. تعبين bro. Here's an example. Here's here's Biden 12 years ago. Just to show you a dish. Just from 12 years from today. Here he is uh, debating the um, vice presidential nominee at the time. You can cut tax rates by 20%. And still preserve these important preferences for middle class taxpayers. Not mathematically it, possible. It is mathematically possible. It's been done before. It's precisely <laughs> what we're proposing. It has never been done before. It's been done a couple of times. Actually. It has never Jack been Jack Kennedy done lowered tax rates, increased growth. Ronald oh, Reagan. Now you're Jack Kennedy. Kennedy. Ronald Reagan. Good life. <laughs> <laughs> Republicans and Democrats. Republicans and Democrats have worked together on this. Yeah, I'm you guys aren't used to doing bipartisan deals. We told each other deals. what we're going to do. When we did it with Republicans Reagan, Democrats, we said, here, here are the we things said, we're going to cut. Here's the framework. Let's work together said. to fill in the details. That's exactly... Fill in the details. That's how you get things done. You work with There's, Congress. Look, let me say it this way. Mitt that's Romney coming from the Republican Congress working Mitt, bipartisanly. Mitt Romney. 7% rating. Mitt Romney. Wow. You can see he is six foot five and only 223 pounds. Or 235 pounds. Well, you said 6'4", 200. Well, anyway, that's what you're... Anyway, just take a look at what he says he is and take a look at what he is. This is really bad. You can tell, you can see and a major difference. That's only 12 years. To give... And like Joe Biden has done some horrible things. Hatta four years ago, I know. He was a little bit better. He was still very tired, but hala he sounds dead. Hala he sounds like a ghoul. He sounds like a mummy. But just to give... He can't run a country. Nothing. Dude, he can't run it again. I want to give him... I want to give him just a bit of credit La Joe Biden, even though he's a horrible person who his stance on Israel Palestine is Trump horrible. Come in, horrible stance. Akid, Akid. Okay. But come in, like on uh, for African Americans used to call them super predators. Like in the nineties, like Biden has been part of a, ho- a, a lot of horrible things in the states. He's one of the reasons why the prisons are as overflown with with minorities as they are. But so twelve years ago, when Obama won the election, Biden did a lot to help him. And Obama was a nobody. Makin Maruf. He was the first black president. That was a big deal. His middle name was Hussein. People were terrified. And Barack Hussein Obama, having. Joe Biden, as his vice president, gave him a lot of credibility. Biden brought that experience. He'd been in, in, in Washington for like 40 years already. So Biden really helped Obama win the election. And he did great in the debates at the time with whatever the fuck the guy was called, Ryan, whatever the fuck. So Biden did a lot to help Obama. And he was a very good vice president, at least on paper. And he made Obama a much more viable candidate for, for, for the general public. Uh, here's an edit of just Biden's face looking. And every time would, Trump would talk, just look at Biden's face how sad he looks and just how confused and lost. How close the police are to him. Almost every police group in the nation from every yeah, state. Allah, and everybody old. wanted to get it back yeah, to the states. Everybody. And China, nothing. And Russia, nothing. And India, nothing. I will have that reporter out. He should have had him out a long time ago because I didn't have legislation. I said, close the border. We had the safest border in history. Yeah, and that's, he literally looked... Hey, by a mouth, uh, uh, Alzheimer's. Like, Hick is spooked like the whole time. Again, I'm not, I don't feel there's no reason to feel bad for Joe Biden. He's done horrible <coughs> things to so many people. But like this is old. This is elder abuse. He's just an old man. Let him sleep in a bed. Put him in a chair. Give him something to suck on, like a little lollipop. Khalas, <laughs> he's lived his life, bro. He's yani mafiyami shiba And this is a, this is yani, this is a war criminal. I hate this man. I hate the things that he stands for and represents, and he's done to the world. I don't want to see an old man. Being paraded around on stage in front of millions of people. Look, it's fucking as clear as day. Just let hey, the, the old man rest. The biggest debate, if you have a minimum age to become president, if you have a maximum age. Exactly. He's, 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 eight, eight, he's 81 years old. The, the, the retirement age in the States is between 66 and 67. You can't be president at, exactly. if you're over 65, bro, or something. Unjab. No way. And I'm 33, bro. At 2 p.m. every day, I get sleepy. I get tired. I'm like, how do people make it the whole day without taking a nap or something? He's 81, bro. This guy, and he's doing the hardest job on earth. He's the president of the most powerful country, bro. How is he? How is he going through a nine to five? Hey, that's Zalame. His aides. So, after the debate, people have been desperately calling for the Democratic Party to replace him. No, please. Article. The Democratic Party can't be on This was bad for us. Everyone is saying this was bad for us. But Joe Biden's wife and his family are refusing. And let's watch the video. Let's watch the wife. The, his wife, guys. I'm talking about a golden star. Teacher in kindergarten, bro. Teacher in kindergarten. Let's watch. Let's see how she talks to him. Yo, you did such a great job. You answered every question. You knew all the facts. 
Look at his face. He's like, the way he smiles. You answered. Let me ask the crowd, what did Trump do? Lie. <laughs> okay. <laughs> When she says lie, though, this was the funniest meme I think oh, I've ever seen. You guys, you guys kids. fans of Lord of the Rings? Lemo. <laughs> Look at this guy. Did you guys remember him? He's a guy that, what about their legs? <laughs> they don't need those. Oh, they look tasty. <laughs> it's that guy. He looks just like him. Uh, I fucking love it. Anthony Sheikha, I can't tell you that you fucking nabish a career voice actor. I would love to. Be, if anyone, if anyone's looking for a voice actor, folks, I can do cartoon characters. No, my fish, my bad. See, but me and me. I would love. I would love to be a voice actor. He's really good. I am good. Thank you for thank. I appreciate you guys, Anja. Thank you so much. Uh, so this, my, where's the fucking mouse? <laughs> there it is. <laughs> But the way I'm telling you, you answered every question. You knew all the answers. Back to the grading, bro. Bro, is this the minimum standard to run America, bro? My 12, my seven-year-old cousin knows all the answers and knows how to tell the truth. Let's make him run the fucking country. Shrambi Seed, what the, bro? But Kamina, what's worse is that hala, you have senior Democratic officials getting on CNN, defending the debate. Can we what we saw with our very own eyes? And we're clearly seeing an old man struggling yahke and to literally. Put a cohesive thought together. How do you have these old Repub uh, Democrats getting on CNN and be like, no, ooh, at least he told the truth. Oh, he just had a bad night. Should we had a bad night? Look, he's That's fucking awesome. falling apart, bro. He's going to die in front of our very eyes. Hey, the Nancy Pelosi, she's the, I forgot what the fuck she is. She's the head of the, the house or whatever the fuck. She's the head of the, the Democratic Party, essentially. This is like an 11 minute CNN. We're just going to CNN interview. We're just going to watch the first minute. But she can barely talk. And she's older than Joe Biden. Joe Biden is 81. This fucking she devil is 84 years old. So they brought huh? an 84 year old yeah, yeah, yeah. to defend huh? an 81 year old. Well, she can barely talk. She can barely put a fucking sentence together. That's the fucking shitty part. So you have one ghoul, one fucking mummy defending another ghoul. Well, they both need to be dead, but they're not. A new CBS YouGov poll out this morning that was taken after the debate finds that 72% of voters now say they do not think President Biden has the mental or cognitive health That's to crazy. serve as president. I wonder why. Here with me now is one of the top officials in the sure. Democratic Party, a close ally of President I Biden, fucking bitch, former bro. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, what is your reaction to that poll? 72% of voters say they don't think that the president this is, is so bad. fit mentally or cognitively to be president. Well, what do they think about the other guy? Uh, do they think that he has the integrity to be president after <laughs> that <laughs> uh, Let us just go, let us not make a judgment about a presidency on one, uh, one debate. <laughs> Oh, no. And you know how fucking rich this lady is and her husband. So Lancy Pelosi, the only reason she's as rich as she fucking is is because her husband does insider trading. Like she gets information, like stock information, and she knows what's going to happen in the industry. Like, okay, the, um, this is going to happen to oil prices next week. Sell your stock in this oil company. They've been making a fortune for years because of insider trading. These fuckers are so corrupt, bro. Killing Republicans, Democrats, they're all the fucking same. Garbage, trash. They all answer to corporations. No one answers to the people. That's why Bernie Sanders only took money from, from like everyday citizens. Anyways, this whole thing. We can keep watching, but you know, this is literally, you're going to watch her stutter, who, who basically blame the people. Well, that's the only thing Democrats do. They never tell you why to vote for Joe Biden. Vote for Joe Biden because he'll do this. All they tell you is Trump is going to do that. Do you want Trump to, to, to deport all the immigrants? you want Trump to, to do this and that? If you don't, then vote for Biden. They don't give you someone to vote for. They just give you reasons, uh, someone to vote against. Vote against uh, Trump. Don't, like, if you vote for Trump, you'll do this. Why should I vote for Biden? How is he going to make my life better significantly? They can't give you that fucking answer. All they can tell you is, not Trump. Trump is the devil. He's going to destroy democracy. And Trump is horrible. And I, there is something that I want to say to a lot of Arabs. And the, who would you vote for in this case? No one. No in this one. case, I would vote for no one. But there are a lot of people who, because they think Biden is bad, in their mind, they think, I'm going to vote for Trump. If you're an Arab and you vote for Trump, you're a fucking idiot. I'm sorry. If you watch the show, no offense, and you're going to fucking vote for Trump, America, yeah, but Trump is a. You're just an idiot who is desperately trying to assimilate and be part and be accepted by like the worst kind of people in the States. And I lived in the States for fucking nine years, almost 10 years. I never had to vote for a fucking Republican to be accepted by anyone. Stick to your fucking values. Trump fucking hates you, you dumb fucks. He fucking hates you. And if it were up to him, he would fucking ship you back to wherever you came from. Yep. Christian, Muslim, it doesn't matter. But I'm a Christian Arab. They don't give a fuck. When an American <laughs> sees you with your fucking hair and beard, they're going to assume you're a fucking Muslim, bro. They don't, they're not going to wait and ask you, where are you from? What's your religion? What's they, Christian, Muslim, it doesn't fucking matter. We're dirty fucking Arabs for them, bro. It doesn't matter. So uh, this whole 
Yeah, but I'm going to vote for Trump. Ashraf al-Kun, mat sawto lahadan, then go, then to go vote for fucking Trump because you're voting against your own interests, against your people's interests. As bad as Biden has been for Gaza and that whole situation, believe it or not, Trump would be a little bit worse. And that's no consolation and that's no reason to go vote for Biden at all. But just don't vote for Trump. Don't be a bootlicking asshole. Have some fucking self-respect. Respect where you came from. Remember where you came from. And uh, don't fucking vote for a Republican that fucking hates you and wants to ship you back uh, where you came from. That just pisses me off. But again, I want to give some other examples. Mishbaz Biden is the only ancient one. Who Trump, who again, is 78 years old. But he just, compared to Biden, he just looks awake and alert. That's the only difference. But there's this uh, U.S. senator, I think, Diane Feinstein. She just died like a few months ago. She still goes to Congress and she votes on stuff. She doesn't know where the fuck she is. Here's an example of her aides telling her to say I. They're asking her, like, do you vote what I or not for this thing? She's like, they're like, just say I, just say I. She doesn't know where the fuck she is, bro. Senator Feinstein. Um, you say I. Pardon me? I. Yeah. Uh, I, I would like to say support a yes vote on this. Um, it provides 823 billion. That's an increase of 26 billion for the Department of Defense. And the, it funds priorities submitted. Just say, okay, just. I. Thank you. Oh no! How do I, she seems like a sweet. I, I don't know what she's done. I'm sure know. she's not a sweet I, I, old lady. Uh, what I'm going to say, I'm not I, like I'm sure she's voted for some bills that have been horrible for a lot of people all around the world. But hella. When you're 85, bro, you don't remember where the fuck you are. You're pissing and shitting yourself. I have some pity, some sort of empathy for you. And at this point, this is all behind you. You're just a baby at this point. You're just a baby. You know what I mean? So, matra, bro. Hey, put her in bed. Let, let her watch TV or whatever the fuck an old person that age does with dementia, whatever. She shouldn't be voting on laws that govern the lives of millions of people and billions of people around the world. Here's another. Come in. Here's another example of a Republican, Mitch McConnell. Hey, that he just stepped down a few months ago because this was happening to him on the news. He would freeze. It happened twice. This week has been good bipartisan cooperation. <coughs> and a string of uh, oh, a string overall. He's just gonna. Sh <laughs> he, <laughs> just, he just stopped talking. He froze for like 40 seconds. Bro, these people are having strokes on camera. Ad, and they're running the fucking country. <laughs> De this is <laughs> Democrats, Republicans, and this happens. <laughs> no, no Our president Tanner was a little bit old, too old to be doing the job. Yeah, I'm not <laughs> <saying much. laughs> look, look, his security has to like <laughs> escort him away. Here, here, let's go, Mitch. Do you want to say anything else to the press? Do you want to say anything else to the press? Oh, I guess I'm going to nope. go now. Nope. These are the people. Nope. Guys. They're pumped up with other or later UFO. Best, bro. We should go on MBTs. Go, go, go. You have 30 se 40 seconds to seem alert and awake. Bro, these people, yeah, the, the decisions that they make affect us. Elections in the States, American president. This affects every single country in the world. This affects okay. every single one of us. Whether it's a Democrat or Republican, we're getting bombed anyways. <laughs> we take interest in these big elections. At the end of the day, we're little pawns in their, whatever big games they're playing. Ooh. Those are the players. Old fucks who don't know where the fuck they are. The next day after the debate, Apparently, Shakula Biden, she ibri extra Adderall because he went and did a speech at a rally saying, no, I may not be great at debating, but I can tell that he's yelling and he has some life in him. And what are they gonna, they're saying, yalla, use this as an ad to show you know, that he's back. Look how desperate this is, bro. Let me close with this. I know I'm not a young man. State the obvious. Well, I know. And people are like, boo, you fucking idiots. I like when he's running. Boo. You idiots, don't encourage this old man. Let him go home and sleep. Stop clapping. Well, I don't. Idiots. I'm just. I don't walk as easy as I used to. I don't speak as smoothly as I used to. I don't deb debate as well as I used to. But I know what I do know. I know how to tell the truth. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
right from wrong. <laughs> wow. Whoa. Bravo. Qualified. Do this job. I know how to get things done. That's right. I know what What's wrong? I know how to kill Palestinians. When you get knocked down, you get back up. Yeah, let me. Hey, hey, this took like six Adderall pills to have him. <laughs> he broke his hip while doing that. I know what it took to take our economy in the depths of pandemic. <laughs> to where <laughs> the strongest economy. I know how to spell 30 words. Khalas. That's. <laughs> This is so Mark desperate. Is elder abuse? So his family has refused. And apparently the biggest person that has encouraged him to stay in the race is his fucking wife. His wife, Jill Biden, the orc, uh, is the one that's like, no, you're not going to step down to his family. They're like, I think they're taking it personally and offensively. Or it's going to make his legacy look bad. There's a few other videos talking about a porn star. Let's watch this for a second. Just take a second. And this is Heda Nivo. This is... This is the U.S. presidential debate, folks. These are the two best people that America can present to run for president. I didn't have sex with a porn star. The crimes that you are still charged with, and think of all the civil penalties you have. How many billions of dollars do you owe in civil penalties for, for molesting a woman in public, for doing a whole range of things, of having Trump's sex with a porn bro, star on the night while your wife is pregnant? I mean, what are you talking about? You, you have the morals of an alley cat. Literally, I was gonna the golf say one, yeah. I, I have that part. Do you watch the golf video? Uh, like, it's insane and it'll be presidential debate where they're debating. I don't invite you. They talked about I golf more than they talked about, like, yeah, child care. For real. In very good health. I just won two club championships, not even senior. Two regular club championships. To do that, you have to be quite smart and you have to be able to hit the ball a long way and I do it he doesn't do it he can't hit a ball 50 yards he challenged me to a golf match he can't hit a ball 50 yards uh, I think I'm in very good shape I feel that I'm as in good a shape as I was 25 30 years ago actually I'm probably a little bit lighter but I'm in as good a shape as I was uh, years ago I feel very good I just take a look at what he says he is and take a look at what he is look I'd be happy to have a driving contest with him I got my handicap, which when I was vice president, down to a six. And, and well, by the way, I told you before, I'm happy to play golf if you carry your own bag. Think you can oh, do it. No. He can't even walk because there's a video of his wife escorting him to the podium and away from the podium to my Fedkesh because every time he walks alone, there's a 50 50 shot. Because he keeps tripping because he's got bad hips and bad legs because he's old. Anyways, that's enough about the debate. Let so me know bad. if you guys are living in the States, you're American citizens. Lebanese, are you guys going to vote? And if you're going to vote for Trump, don't do it. Don't be an idiot. And don't come down at the bullet. But Anthony, you're mistaken about Trump. Actually, he's... I don't want to fucking hear it. I'm not going to read that shit. Like, come on. I'm fucking 33. I don't need any fucking propaganda. I don't know what the fuck you're watching. What kind of news or what kind of Facebook groups you're chilling with. <laughs> and but no, no, thank you. Uh, concept stores. We uh, on concepts. Concept, concept, concepts. We got some new concepts, folks. Let's check. We have a collage. Of new businesses, Bilibnain, brioche sandwiches. Esmel concept, cloudy bite, usadone lama elkon, and no, let my honey house on the shed, mamulin, bad doni, kassur, dinne, willa atia. Concept is did be Beirut, hadidan, bil mamura, sandwich, mamul, bihibze, fib albo, ya radis, ya lahme, hang a belish, bil lahme. El pan brioche, abel my hat al grill, my hat al zude. El hibbis, few radis, kifian, el hibbis, like the bread itself. It's a sandwich. You mean it's a sandwich? So the concept is a sandwich. Okay, this is a coffee shop. Ooh, coffee shop boutique. Let's see what kind of concept that is. A step into the slow. This is a minimalist sanctuary that consists of clean eating, flexible workspaces, and consciously curated retail offering. This soothing concept store is located in Marim Chayiv. Did you say, what did you say? A minimalist sanctuary? Minimalist sanctuary, ma'am? This is a store. This is a retail location. This is not a minimalist sanctuary. This is a retail location. The menu is varied and it changes <laughs> <periodically> <laughs> <following> <laughs> the seasons. They have some of the best desserts in town. This place consists of a design retail section, an organic cafe, a working and gallery space, a they meeting room, and shirts. a terrace on the ground floor. <laughs> That's exactly there right. are even products sold at the slow, like the accessories, books, decorative objects, clothes, skincare, and magazine. But the slow definitely caters to coffee lovers. The majority of the ingredients are grown nearby and come from local organic producers. 
The recipes are nutritious, easy to digest, and generally real food. The food presentation is just above and beyond. Would you look at these lattes? I mean, they taste as good as they look. Anyway, s a r i d a y a I've been there before. Yes, is it good? Yeah. Is it nice? Yeah, did you buy anything nice. from the? Did you buy any fancy? No, I just had coffee and breakfast. Was it nice? Was it expensive? That's right. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Was it worth it or not worth it? Uh, hey, I know it's cute for. I know it's <laughs> good coffee and. No, I've been not there good. Once. This is a flower shop cafe. I keep the concept of Jadid. كافي شوب بين الورود هيدا المحل هو عبارة عن كونسبت جديد للكافي شوبس بوكي ديليسيو هو محل فاتح ببادارو ما صار له كتير فاتح هو منه بس كافي شوب هو كمان فلاور شوب يعني فيكن تعدوا تشربوا قهوتكن وتاكلوا يور ديزيرت ومن بعدها فيكن تتمتعوا أول شي بمنظر الورود تاني شي فيكن تشتروا الورود اللي انتوا بتحبوها هو اسمه بوكي ديليسيو لأنه بيعمل تشوكليت بوكي يعني تشوكليت على شكل أوه كاش بوكي هيدا كان أقوى كونسبت بلبنان What happened to that? Like that place was cute. It's cute, and but it's no concept, I guess. And no, and no, yeah, they are selling flowers. I guess it's a concept. Concept uh, cafe yeah. flower shop. Hey, the barber membership. Hey, the concept or the. Hey, the concept. So, انت شاب وبدك ضل مرتب من شعر لدقن لحواجب لكل وجهك شوف فيرد براند شو عامل بكل فعالية. فتنا بكونسبت لحلاقة ممبرشيب بعشرة دولار تدفع مرة كل شهر تجي بس بدك بالضبط شعرك دقنك. أو حواجبك وهيك بتضل مرتب كل الشهر بكلفة قليلة. Concept. Grooming. So concept. What a spot. concept. Concept. Uh, so, uh, what is it called? Membership. These aren't concept. concepts. These are existing things. Memberships. So I know. I'm the Ocafe. Write them. Let's see. Is a header. What's the? What is this? Like IV. Guys, بعد ما جربتوا الكوفي باجز إذا لا روح عند أوكافي هيد الكوفي شوب اللي كتير مهضومي وكتير كيوت موجودة على ريتيم. Uh, it's uh, owned by two uh, twin uh, تاليا وعمر. They are twenty years old. حبوا يعملوا هيد الكافيه المهضومة بـ new concept. هول الريوز الباجز مش موجودين غير عندهم بلبنان. Uh, والأسعار أرخص بكتير من غيره. أنا برأيي لازم كلنا نروح عند to support them because they are purely Lebanese and the idea is created by the young generation. I like this. But what's the I'm not so giving vampire diaries blood bugs. So. <laughs> I'm not f- food and stuff in bags. I'm not a fan, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> like, <laughs> what's, the, what's the advantage of drinking it's in a bag? It's a reusable bag. Oh, it's a reusable bag? Uh, Where do you get... So I guess if you use this... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. If it's good for the environment, then it's easy to carry around. So no, this just seems like a nightmare. Reusable bags. Or just <laughs> 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 a bag full of liquid is gross, bro. Yeah. V- Venezia restaurant. Is that in Lebanon? Oh my God, are you fucking kidding me? True. We need to go vlog there. We have New to. concept in town. Vin Azir restaurant. It looks awful. So in love. This is horrible. Coolest experience in Beirut. There's even Follow like a statue. Follow me for more on Insta. Yeah. Link in bio by. Wem. Added somewhere on the list. Venezia restaurant. I have Hilton Hotel or she. I'm in Hilton. Uh, cre- ice crab. <laughs> La ice crab. Concept جديدة أول حدا بيعملها بالبلاد وبالعرب وزاف كرا. بالعالم أي هاي ده. بنبدأ على بكالة الرد ice cream. بنحط بقلب فراز بنرجع بنحط معه طعم مانجا شوية نوتيلا بنرجع بنلفها بتصير مثل الرول آخر شي بنرجع بنقطعها وبنحط عليها شوية وايت شوكلت وشوفوا بعدها النتيجة النهائية. Anyway that's enough concept آه ده بعد شغلة واحدة عنا هيدي على انستغرام جو بارزا ذا كونسبت بيلدر جو بارزا از شيف كان I think a chef on like one of those food shows. He was one of the judges. Who came in again? The head chef of the Chase. But Zakir, what time the Chase? I'm talking about Joe Barza. Can I mean the menu? I mean only millennials and older will know what I'm talking about. And I know Saksukto. The Joe Barza, he is him. This concept builder. Uh, yeah, that's enough. I think for today of uh, concept stores. Hope you guys had fun with this little segment. If you find more interesting concepts, or Kevin, like last week we talked about people talking about the name of their restaurant where they got the idea mm. and no uh, hunger bunker. So <laughs> send us more of those because we like them. Lemon melon. Lemon melon. I'm afraid to eat. Half a person eats every day lemon melon. Just ask me. Lemon melon. From where the lemon melon? Belloni. Lemon melon. A simple butter. We talked about simple. We've been talking about simple butter for two weeks. I'm kind of fascinated with that restaurant. I also want to go vlog there. لأنه أرتين كل شيء من سويس بتر المنيو الديكور الفونت البراندينج الأوتفيت تبع the waiters everything 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 is complete أرتا 
Well, now they're accused. They're turn. They're turning the tables, folks. They're flipping the table, <coughs> and they are now accusing Swiss Butter of ripping off like Entrecote or other French restaurants for their sauce. Here's this lady who was hired by Simple Butter to basically explain the origin of the sauce. Ooh, they're li- this is they're literally talking about the controversy and as directly as they can. I'm showing you the menu. We add them both three dishes: lamb, chicken, and the بيعامل بلبلة هلا مش طبيعية حأختصر لكم إياها وخبركم شو قصة هالصوص هيدا موجود عند الغرب من سنة 1930 ومتداول عنا بلبنان وموجود بكتير مطاعم من زمان بس بأسماء مختلفة واللي بيرجع لأسمه الأساسي اللي هو كافيه دو باري يعني هذا الصحن ما عمره لا خمس سنين ولا عشر سنين وفكرة هذا الصوص بالأساس مش مسبوقة من عند حدا خلونا بالمهم مش مسبوقة هذا الصوص مكون من أعشاب وزبدة لهيك سموا المحل سمبل باتر إذا ما بيكون تأخذوا صحن فيكم تأخذوها على ساندويتش أكيد بيجي مع فرايز وسلال كما فيكم تأخذوها على برجر مع تشيز ما تقلوا بالأكل حتى تحلوا أطيب تحلية <laughs> so basically, they're saying in the sauce, it exists since 1930 in the doesn't exist best when it comes to or I'm I'm bilateral, obviously, Swiss butter. And this has been around for a long time. In fact, any restaurant that uses the sauce, they're all ripping off that original French recipe. But the point that a lot of people made in the comments that we've made. It's not the sauce. It's not the sauce. <laughs> it's the presentation. The menu. The kitchen. It's the brand identity. <laughs> the with the steak, with the, with the baguette, like the with the salad. Everything is this, even even the little thing with the red chili flakes. Yeah, nikil shi artino mi bil mi. That's the problem people have: the lack of originality, not the fact that you're using the green herb butter sauce. Hey, the win, Macan, you can have it. Hatta yeah. the way they're marketing it, I know they're marketing it. I assess, I know they have three dishes, but in fact, they have way more than that. And I'm yekdo the only thing in yanto yes Swiss butter. Exactly. Now they've been expanding on their menu. I don't know if it's as a response to the Swiss I think butter it's allegations. As a response, definitely. They're like, okay, we can't go on the three item thing. So hala they've added salufet ashitlet tajmea sar fi new items ala the menu. Let's see what they are. One of them is a Wellington, a uh, Gordon Gordon Ramsay's uh, signature dish. Wellington, wow, 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 wow. Wellington. the beef Wellington. Wellington. Uh, his signature dish. You can now buy it at fucking uh, Simple Butter. Sure. Third and finally, two items there and Simple Butter. First item we have is chicken onion. Second item we have is Simple Wellington. 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 We put all our sauce. Our sauce. It's not a jigo, Daniel. I don't know the name, but it's not a jigo. It's like a turkey leg or something. I don't know what it is. But uh, and, 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 no, the, the, that looks nasty. I don't like a jigo, Daniel. But the beef Wellington is I am Gordon Ramsay Beklo. Simple butter, my wife, if I will try uh, their Haida. Their simple Wellington. So I just like how they shifted the blame. And we're not saying that. Y'all motherfuckers, you're the, you're the, you're the, the plagiarizers. We're not saying the name, the branding, that's it. Um, simple butter, mandon alcohol, but they don't have alcohol. But they don't have alcohol. Yo, argile is a winning formula. That's okay, how you yalla. differentiate. That's how you differentiate. <laughs> <laughs> Swiss <laughs> butter. <laughs> Swiss. Then <laughs> <laughs> vlog. Swiss butter. Uh, so simple, simple butter. Simple. Yalla, simple. Uh, how can I make that mistake? Hone fi a pregnant wife skit. Let's watch. <laughs> شيء بشهر يا شهيتيني يا عمي هذا الويلينغتون؟ شو؟ لك شو فيه؟ طيب بس بدي شي تاني مش هيدا طيب هلا بقول له الزلمي الناس انه خلص طيب شو؟ اي يا بامري اه لك هون؟ ما عبالي عبالي برجر جبنا برجر هيك قاعد تفش فيها اهم شيء ما تطلع بعين الولد ايه تكرم عينك المحل كله باسمك حي الزلمي اللي بدك اياه ليك تعال والله انا ما عم بلاقيهم هودي عبالي دسار لك تعال لك يا خي دخيل اجراك دسار جبلة دسار بدي اعرف شو بدها خلص دسار منيح والله جننتها هالمره الحبله جننه والله من اول لازم تعمينه هودي على شو جبتلي لحمه؟ من الاساس قولي لي يا قلبي بدك دسار هيك عملت فيا ما بيأثر في هذا البيبي اللي ببطنك حبيب قلبي عين بهالدعايه مين هو الهبلك شو هي ميد ذا فود سيم باد جبلة الجيجو ما اكلت الجيجو جبلة الويلنكتون ما بدي اكله جبلة البرجر ما بدي اكل البرجر ذن هي ميد ات سيم اكسبنسف لانه اجت الفاتوره هيز لايك او فاك ذس از ذا بيلد بوب عين بهالدعايه عين بالماركتنج عين بهالبلد كله بعين برو كيف دافعين لك شيء؟ قول قال اسرائيل تعو يلا بام ذس فاكينج شيت هول عم نمزح ذس واز جوك فوكس بس انه هي جد شو دعيت الخير عم نمزح بس انه ذس از ذس از هاو باد ذس از ذس از ميك مي كويشن ماي لويلتي تو ماي كونتري اند ماي لاند اند ماي ماي اصولي كعربي ولبناني اي بدعايه سوري سوري ذس ريلي بيست مي اوف اتس سو باد 
It's so bad. Speaking of Lebanon, Balad Mayer, uh, fee oppression, folks, you know? But I'm not talking about female oppression, women getting oppressed. I'm talking about the men. It's hard being a man in Lebanon. يعني we struggle. Where do we go? Sure is. Uh, <laughs> people looking at <laughs> us. I'm back on oppression. Let's see. I'm trying to talk. So this is my life with Jad. Let's watch him talking about men being oppressed in Lebanon. I want to talk about this thing because it's super hard. And in the usual, I don't talk about anything negative. And I'm sure everything is related to the food and beverage industry. It's not going to happen. But I'm sure I'm going to be in a house with a house with a house. We're all friends. First of all, we told you. قالوا لنا عندكم حجز، قلت له شفت المحل من برا ما فيه حدا من جوا، قال خلص طلعوا، فاضي المحل فيه طاولتين بس. المحل فاضي فيه قعدت على الشباك، قعدونا بالزاوية كأنه عم بخبونا لحالنا إنه شو هالغلطة إنه نحن شبان، أنا يمكن ما بدي أظهر مع بنت اليوم، على بالي أظهر مع رفيقي جاي من السعودية صار لي دائما ما شايفه، بدنا نتغدى سوا. قعدونا بالزاوية. قلنا له فينا نقرا على الطاولة اللي على الشباك ما فيه حدا، قال لا ما جاي حجز هلا ما بنعرف ما حنقدر نعملها أدري شو، وكان كثير لقيم معنا الويتر. أنا شخصيا ضايقت كثير من هالمعاملة البشعة، ما بعرف شو صاير معكم أنتم كشباب بس إنه ليش مجبورين نظهر مع بنات كل الوقت؟ يعني أنا ما إلي خلق، هربان من البنات، ظاهر ما عرفت ناكل لقمة بمحل طيب، الأكل طيب، السيرفيس ما عجبني أبدا وما برجع بروح. ليش مجبورين نطلع؟ أوكي فيرست أوف أول، إذا أول ذيز ريد فلاجز بعد ما قعدت تاكل، الويتر مقير، فاضي المطعم اللي بتروح فيه بيقول لك لا، قال لك فل قبل ما تفوت، قال لك لا فلو، ذن شو أناتو تتفوت يعني جس Take the hint. Why would you even want to eat there if the start of your experience is at the Al-Iyere? You know what I mean? They, they don't want you there from the beginning. He got a bunch of comments of people assuming why. That's the same assumption that I made. It's pretty funny, this first comment Shani's here. Shani's gay? It's pretty funny, what I know. Shaklu <laughs> and he put some rainbow flags. Yeah, and that's probably why the guy didn't want him in there. He's like, yeah, I don't want a gay couple in my restaurant. Not that, obviously, we disagree with that. Uh, gays should eat anywhere they want to eat. ميشيل الأزي says ليه عم تبرر ظهرتك مع رفيقك سوري بس ما في ولا رستو بيقول لك فود كابلز شاب بنت ذات از ويرد ذات ريستورانت سو ات ماست جست بي هوموفوبيك سو ذي يو اند يور فريند ماست جيف اوف سم كايند اوف جاي اورا اي دونت مين ذات ان ا باد واي اوبفيسلي دونت اوبفيسلي اي مين ذات ان ا نايسست واي بوسيبل فولكس محمد اي الزوبي هو كان ريد ذات الزوبي اتصل احجز على الشباك ما بدها لاد واذا ما حجزت بدك تقعد مطرح ما هن بدهم حلوه الشغله كمان اذا المطعم فاضي لا ذس از يا رب محل شرمتة يا برو هيدا بيبر شرمتة عم بيكتبها او ماي جاد برو جورج فلامنكي شو لابسين تياب كنتو This was so funny. This is what women get asked all the time. I had this is why I got it like and she lips in le le I had to come this way. But this is oppressive, yeah. It's about just that I'm not going to eat with my friend. Shab, but the only thing I'm just with my friend. I'm not going to eat with someone. El shal shalhub is a story. I'm doing the hack fik. Oh my god, bro. They can raise. Yeah, and the restaurant is called Bet Halab. Bet Halab. Racism is alive and well, beloved men, folks. Uh, is this oppressive as men have you experienced uh, I'll give an example once please enlighten well, I've, I've said this I've said this story on the podcast before I didn't I wasn't let into a <coughs> ballroom blitz once because it was me and like my oh. cousins four guys <laughs> and Maruf, anytime you want to go to a club and you're muffy, there's, there are no girls with you they don't let you in I had a cousin visiting from the states it was like 3am they're like let's go to ballroom I'm like isn't it kind of late so they're probably not going to let us in Every, not Hamas not? like yeah let's go I went the guy just looked at us he's like four dudes or five dudes he's like huh no He was like, go home. So we're just literally walking away. Some guy recognizes me from the podcast. He's like, hey, Anthony, shoot, you having a good time? I'm like, no, they didn't let us in. He's like, they didn't let you in? The bouncer's like, get over here, boys. <laughs> and no, that happens. I don't, think I, get, I don't think I'm oppressed as a man. I mean, women do get more time off when they get pregnant and have kids. That's unfair. Why don't men get... Hello, there are people who are saying that they are trying to... Men to get parental leave. If I have a baby, I'm not allowed to be with my kid. That's, yeah, that is unfair. You know what I mean? Have and you it takes been me, oppressed? It takes, me, it takes me longer to get drinks at the bar. Come to think of it. You know what I mean? When I, when I, if I'm at the bar, there's a, a lady next to me. The lady is more likely to get the attention of the bartender than, like than myself. One of them goes back, not oppression. Oh no, that is oppression. I did prefer to the Zalim and bartender. Hate the oppression, Elijah. That is oppression. That is matriarchy. That is Africa just man self-sabotage. No, that is matriarchy rearing its ugly head. When I was 15, 16, we were in the mall. So we didn't have a group of people. In the mall? 
حتشاف ما تقدر 14 15 زعلان لانه تحت بلشوا مشاكل بيسكلي كانوا يفكروا انه حيفوت نخبط ذا جاب بيرسنجز ستاف 14 يور اولد انا كنت 10 فاخذت دينا باي سو اكيد مش حيفوتوك باللومول ازعر ازعر يا عم نشيل المشاكل ايوه هيدا اوبريشن نور از ذا سول فيميل اون ذس بانل وات دو يو ثينك ابوت مان بينج اوبريسد في لبنان Um, I think I uh, know sometimes it's helpful for men to be oppressed hey, well, in certain... Uh, But do you think this was oppression or do you, do you think the, the homophobic waiter just thought they were gay? No, I I'm think it was just uh, a homophobic definitely waiter. Definitely thought they were gay. But yeah. like, I know men aren't really oppressed. I don't want to excuse the waiter for anything, but if the waiter is homophobic and he saw this gentleman wearing... He can be in the bar with his friend. يمكن ليش عم من البحر ليتس تراي ليتس تراي تو ثينك ذس لايك وات ار يو ويرينج ليش عم من البحر هو ان هيز فريند ليبي اس ماي يو شوي اسيد وي اول هاف اي هاف شورت سويمينج سوت سم تايمز اي اي ان جادج نو بادي اوكي ميبي ذي ويرينج فليب فلوبس ا ليتل بيت تان ميبي ذي ار ا ليتل بيت درونك فور ذير هيك ا ليتل بيت فريندلير توجذر شيف ان الويتر هبط قلبه از لايك او ماي جاد ذا جايز ار كومينج تو ماي ريستورانت بليز ما تفوتوا انه اف ذي ار كومينج از ات جاي فور تو مان تو جو تو ذا بيتش الون اي دونت ثينك سو <laughs> the waiter thought it's gay. I don't think it's gay. <laughs> I've been to the beach with, with male friends, folks. With just male. <laughs> just males. I've been with, with to the beach with just men and just women. I've never felt gay or straight at any moment. I want to stop this whole conversation because I think we're going to get in trouble. Uh, gorilla food. Hey, that's, I think it's more yummy Lebanon. Bayan in one of the concept things. Okay. Best Laila Nefsal video. Someone sent it. A, a, a lovely viewer sent this. Thank you so much for sending this. I forgot the name. Best no. I, someone definitely sent this. I didn't find this. Uh, watch this. I love these, you know, sauces or whatever the fuck. خليني اذكركم ان هالمحل اسمه جوريلا كيتشن لايكوا هالوحشين عندكم المونستر بوريتو وعندكم البيج براذر. هيدا كون الباستا بيستو مع حلومي على الوجه وبارميزون وبندلق عليها الكريمي بيستو. اوه روعه. جايز هذا البوريتو الوحش في بقلبه كريسبي تشيكن باربيك. سوري هيدا هيدا الكريمي بيستو صوص حدا خارع على الكون اخذت الباستا <تصفيق> كون Diare, digre. Someone just shitting on it right, right on top. I don't get the hype. Hella, kill she. Hello, greasy, greasy food. Sorry, shabat tikka. We get the sauce. Hella, it's a stop. Is putting sauce on cones. Keep that sauce. We had the cone. Keep that tikka. Hella, all the sauce is outside of the cone. Look, my friends, it's not in the cone. Cheddar, chips, potato, cheese, mukhif. The big brother has a taste. Sorry, man. Oh. Yeah. Why would you do that? Why? Min bikul hek. I wonder why they cut it. No, bro. I'm on jad. Yeah, I'm. Ma fi sharaf bi hek da'ay is what I'm trying to say. This is this is pest. This is very embarrassing to do. I don't know. Like to me, pest. I have too much dignity to film something like that. Hold a sandwich that no human being can fucking open, and be like, ooh, 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 shoving it up your mouth. Like, hala, we're selling. Is it fucked up what I'm saying? Should I not say that? No, no, it's not. No, no, no. Dignity. No, no. We're, we're, I'm out here selling. I'm out here sponsored by a restaurant I right know. now, and I'm eating a sandwich. But so no, I think there's like I'm just eating a regular like. Hmm. Take okay, nine. A bit tired. Fi ul shi. It's a regular sandwich. It's a human sized sandwich. Who manna trans? Who manna? It's a regular sized sandwich, but it is nowhere near. A it is an extraordinary sandwich. Yeah, that is. ريجولار <laughs> 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 A sandwich the size of your head in your face when you know no regular human being can eat this one. Who, what the fuck is this restaurant? Who, who, who wants to put a pound of melted cheddar, being a sandwich? Like this whole thing is a fucking gimmick. This guy pretends to be a food expert. Who would eat this? Who, who, who? Yeah, Anthony Bourdain would he fucking eat the sandwich? And uh, this guy might be doing this for free because he's at a bunch of restaurants. Who, like I don't know if he's getting paid for this. But someone like. What are you getting out of this? When's the bubble gonna burst? So, the food like the blogger bubble. Like the restaurants, and no, kill what I'm hella. Al menu taba ando bone list. Oh really? Yeah. yeah. Since yeah. the bone list thing happened, kill all what I'm ando bone list hella. They man ando barbecue, buffalo, honey mustard. When will this end? There's a problem. Everyone is very unoriginal. Hella burger shops. Notice any burger shop that sells a spicy chicken sandwich, they're all called the Nashville hot. There's like. 
12, and, and, and these are all restaurants that I love. There's Nashville hots everywhere. Yeah, Oklahoma double smashed. Oklahoma double smashed. <laughs> for example, uh, we <laughs> Burgery, our good friends at Burgery, they've had a lot of those items named that way for many years. You see those same names popping up at a lot of other restaurants. Yani, if, if she, the whole food industry is weird, man. I, like, I wouldn't want to open it. I wouldn't want to open a restaurant just because I don't want to even have to invite one of these guys over to have to eat my shit and be like, hey, you want to come to my restaurant? Best explorer, Nico, I'm not going to get it. I'm not going to get it. I'm not going to get it. Dr. Food, guys, let's move on from this. Uh, real expert, real food expert. <laughs> Is he in jail? Shu Sayyid, Nuru Elijah, you guys know what's up. Do you guys want to tell us what's going on or should we watch some of the lives? Taba Shru. تعرفوا دكتور فود اتهم انه دراجز وسمغلينج دراجز بقلب الشوكولايت وعلب الشوكولا وبال وون اوف هيز امبلويز بالمعمل طلع هي واز دوينج دراجز نو ون نوز وات ذا فاكس جوينج اون هي هرب وتخبى بدبي وشروق راحت على كندا ذن دي ونت باك تو دبي اند دي ستيت توجذر هلا شروق واز هافينج ا لايف اند شي سينج ذات وات از شي سينج شو صاير؟ لونج ستوري شورت بحلك هيك بريف سامري اف نو وانت تو اد اني ثينج يلا نجم نحضر الفيديوز سو ويت اند ويت ستارتد وشو صاير هلا سو فار اخر فيديو تبع الكروس فارم ما سمسوا ذكرها وي رياكت تو ات بس سو فاني شو شفافه وهيك افتر ذات فيديو دكتور فود اختفى لشهر وجمعه ليترلي ون مانث اند ون ويك هلا انا بيرسون اي واز كفرينج ات واي واز كثير كنت مفاجئ براسي انك ديفنتلي انه عم بيعملوا شيء كمل تو لانش شيت ياس برودكت وشو من تو دايز شيز لايك احكي كل شيء على اللايف وحتى تعرف وين الدكتور فود I was like, what is this bullshit? You know, I saw live. <laughs> most likely, we were in a month and a few days. He's like, no, man, I don't see my son for a month. And I don't see Jauzi, I don't know what to do. Still, I don't know if he's in Lebanon or outside. We don't know that. I know that I have the answer. If he's in Dubai, there's no jurisdiction for Lebanese police to go to Dubai. No, no, no. But I don't know what to do. He's the last thing. 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 سو so, لانه ما اجى طلبوا اذا بيوصل على مطار لبنان بيسحبوه بيست على الفيديوز اللي ذات اي جوت هلا دكتور فود مخبى شي محل <تصفيق> وعم بيقولوا للقاضي عم يطلبوا منه انه اذا بتعطينا لايك like جارنتي انه اذا نزل دكتور فود ما بتوقفوه وهيك لان ابيرنتلي ذير تراينج تو بروف انه هيز انسنت بس they're trying to keep him in jail or something so عم بيطالبوا الدوله انه لا الدوله عم بتكونوا مش قانونيه بلا انا من هلا i don't need to look at any of the evidence doctor food is fucking innocent to مش عامل شيء جورج ديب and if there's anyone that says the contrary or tries to put this man behind bars folks i will fuck you up motherfuckers جورج ديب الدكتور فود فوق راسنا we should have done that interview when we had the chance i have his i have his office number folks when he comes out of this situation i promise you an exclusive World exclusive interview, my doctor. Food, the What the fuck happened with this, <laughs> with this drug? I will go to Rumi. I will, I will, and I will do a, commit a crime to be taken to Rumi so I can interview him in the middle of the prison if I can't secure an interview any other way. The, a fun fact, the lives. Can I'm telling you, we're not just about the product. 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 We're not just about جورج ديب المعروف بدكتور فود متوار عن الانظار في رحبة عكار حديث شروء نور دخيلك عن انها تو ماتش ايرنك اي ليترلي كان سين حديث شروء عن I'm gonna read this I'm gonna read this you useless fuckers oh my god bro and to think that I'm the worst Arabic um, so احمد ياسين tweets جورج ديب المعروف بدكتور فود متوار على الانظار في رحبة عكار حديث شروك عن انها لم ترى زوجها منذ شهر ونصف هو كذب مخص جورج معها وهي معه اما الحديث عن البراءة فهو حق لاي متهم طالما هو بريء يا شروق يتفضل ينزل على التحقيق لان النائب يلي حامي شكله رفع الغطاء خفف دراما هاشتاج لبنان انه كل شيء بيبين ايفنشلي ونحن انه اوكي لبنان اتس كراب بس انه عندنا بوليس اخواتنا نيو كي سو هي سينج بيسلي في زينسيت ما يخاف ايه انه ما يخاف ينزل يعمل المحكمه اذا عنده شيء تو هايد يجي ويتش ميك سنس يعني انه يس انه ليتس واتش ذا فيرست بارت اوف شروق لايف اون ذا سيتويشن اكيد جورج من مسجون ولا شيء جورج في علاقه دعاء هو بعد اثباتات بتثبت انه انا ما بدخ دخلني انا ما بصنع انا ما بوزع انا ما بصدر هذه كل الخبرية الادعاء على هالاساس بعد الاسلوبات انه انا ما دخلني وبعد الموضوع قالوا شهر و10 ايام واقف بارضه شو المطلوب اكثر من هيك؟ بنرجع بنقول للقاضي جورج بيكون عندك بعد 24 ساعة إذا في ضمانات انه كل شيء إذا في ضمانات انه ما يصير في شيء مش انه لا وبدي شو لا بدنا نايموا فترة إذا في ضمانات انه جورج يتحقق معه 
وإذا ما عليه شيء بفل جوج 24 ساعة إذا الله رد بيكون تحت بلبنان وكل شيء طبيعي سو كأن ما نوم بلبنان عم يحكي اوكي سو يسن دبي موست لايكلي خير نوم واو دي كم باك في نوم رح يوقفوا على المطار بس كان بي اونست بي جايز اي جو دونت جيف ا فاك اني مور مان اول شيء لايك خلص تعبوني هول ما بعرف هو وين اللي اكثر من شهر ما شفته لا انا ولا ابني اللي صار مع مع دكتور فود ابدا مش مزبوط القاضي طلب داتا اتصالات داتا الاتصالات طلع ما فيها شيء ولا هذا شيء فيرست هير هازبند از دكتور فود مش انه صار مع جوزة اللي صار مع مع جورج اللي صار مع دكتور فود له علاقه ابدا مع الناس اللي مسكوهم مع هدول القصص ليش هل بسبب انه الاعلام ضغط عليكم الاعلام المدفوع له صار يضغط على ناس صاحبة قرار كيف قد ما يكون قد ما يكون الاعلام ما في ما فيك تظلم ما فيك تظلم حدا انت مش ظالم لجورج انت مش ظالم لجورج عائلته لجورج فوق ال 50 60 شغيل بيشتغل مع جورج موظف الشرك اللي عم تصنع لجورج العالم نحن الوكلاء ببلدان العالم كمان نحن كمان في عنده 40 50 30 40 وكيل كل وكيل عمل اوردر ب 300 400 الف مين بيسكر سو ابيرنتلي شي هازن سين يور هازبند ان ا مانث ان ا هاف ذا لاست مومنت ذي شيرد واز شوفينج ا giant croissant in both their mouths at the same time. Ibni li lo mahroom min bayu shahar wa shway. That's a good thing. Oo Josie bari. Lish? Kurmal min? Shun dafa' fi rasu al Dr. Food? Adde shun dafa' fi rasu al Dr. Food? Bas intu bit fikru nifu lom bimshi? Ana min nas 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 في ظلم عم بيصير في عملية اغتيال لإنسان ناجح في المجتمع اللبناني كرمال مين؟ كرمال شو؟ أنا بطلب منكم كلكم وقفوا وقفة معنا نحن بحاجتكم اليوم إنسان بريء عم يتهم بالظلم إنسان بريء ملفه مخبى ما عم ينشغل فيه مثل العالم والناس وما بعرف ليه ليش؟ وين الإعلام النزيه؟ بجوا لايكيت بجوا بدنا دعم بدنا اسف جيفينج جون جيرل شكله غربان منا وهي شي تراينج تو بلاي كيف باخر جون جيرل هي شي بتعمل حاله بتحبه وشي سي انه اجت تطلع هي دافعة تطلع شو هلا هيك امه على بالك وي اول نو ذات شي از كريزي وومن ما مشان هيك والليجندلي بس انه ام سوري تو سي ذس انه اجين شي واز ماريد توايس شي واز ماريد تو تو مان وكذبت عليهم سو ذات شي كان جيت ذا كنديان باسبورت اند ذن وين هير اذر هازبند فاوند ذات شي واز ماريد تو تو هازبندز تو جيت ذا كنديان باسبورت He tried to, to, to file for divorce. Allegedly, this is all in an article that we talked about and we posted, and I have the link, etc., etc. She sued him for sexual harassment. And he has a daughter, and then he sued her, and then it's crazy, man. This lady's done some shit. I don't know if Dr. Food knew about this stuff before he married her, but. <laughs> he, does, he can't get out of it now, and he has a kid with the lady, so he's fucking tied to her forever. When I find it fucking. You know, it's a bit insane. If kill her, she said after the Katraxa thing, will cheating, will the. I mean, kill she. I don't know what the fuck happened, bro. All right, shit. Everything started going downhill when he got married to that lady. She's not in jail right now. She's happy. Yeah, we're almost done. Before we go, there's this fun video of Coldplay not recognizing the Lebanese flag at a concert. Uh, they were supposed to come here in 2006 Coldplay. with Zakkar. Coldplay, will I? No, they Fix You. Oh, what is that? Speed of Sound. Oh, Viva La Vida. Anyway. <laughs> Uh, here we go. They were supposed to come to Lebanon in 2006, but Zakar then cited the war with Israel, so they didn't come anymore. Well, apparently, had like, rumors and Coldplay are going to Lebanon. Apparently, but the news was that there was a war with Israel. No, it was bullshit. Yeah, yeah. So this was this was used as like a, a, as proof that you know they were not coming to Lebanon. This is beautiful, Daddy. Green eyes. Where is this flag from? With the tree in the red. Lebanon. I don't know that flag, but welcome to you. <laughs> okay. Fuck you, Chris Martin. <laughs> Are you fans of Coldplay? Uh, I used to love Coldplay. I uh, uh, fucking. I don't hate them. I don't hate them. They're last. They're so overhyped. It's too commercialized. But I don't like the first. Same. 
I like the first three albums. Parachutes, the first album is a <laughs> masterpiece. <laughs> listen to the first album. Listen to Parachutes. It will blow your mind. I know, it's I know, even, but, but that's even Coldplay. <laughs> and you'd be surprised that it's even Coldplay because they press their sound, their signature sound. They hit it with their second album, Rush of Blood to the Head. Then the third album, Shukin, was it X and Y? I forgot, what, I forgot what it was called. I think X and Y. It had speed of sound and all that stuff. I like that album, but Sony, they were getting very commercial. Fourth album, Viva La Vida, was the last of theirs that I heard, that I listened to. I liked it, but it was my least favorite. And I was like, ah, I think I don't like the direction they're going. And then I just stopped listening to them. But their first three albums, I genuinely like their first album, Parachutes, a fucking masterpiece. I just listened to it. Then listen to Don't Panic. It's very nice. Uh, it's very good. Noted. Bro, bro, bro. I'll try. I will not I'll try. I'll try. Yeah, I cringe at the idea of I'm just not play. I'm a cold play hater. Have you tried the first album? I'll have it after the show. I'm not going to do it. You won't have a choice. Anyways. Yeah, I compare it to small cold play to Swifties. Do people still listen to Coldplay now? Yeah, they're obsessed, especially Lebanese. Subhanallah, Lebanese. I'm not Coldplay. I don't know. They're like. I don't know any of their <laughs> new songs that are popular anymore. Then. You know, I would. I don't know if I would see them, but no, not anymore. <laughs> Just for their first three albums and everything else. But anyways, folks, we'd like to thank you guys for tuning in. That's the episode. Uh, let's take a second to thank some of our beautiful blonde patrons. Uh, like Nicolas Malouf, Moke Ziad Mgarbel, Mario M, Nasif, Rimal, Isha, uh, Cassette Guy, Ali Taha, and our superhero patrons. Like... Uh, Nuna, Rana F, Muhammad Mansour, Mo Hariri, Nagio, Andrew the Biz, and our got your patrons, Rifat Fakih, Burgery, Elian Mujaber, Jessica, and Jack Sleeman. Frozen Cherry every Wednesday, folks. And Siso Hayek. If you'd like to support this channel, folks, check us out on uh, Patreon. We uh, would love your contributions. You're the only reason this channel can keep going. And stay tuned for our brand new channel that we'll be launching in a few weeks, hopefully. Thanks again to Phil and Will, folks. Remember, tell your waiter or your cashier. Do not worry and get 20% off of your uh, order, your full bill, automatically when you dine in or take away from Phil and Will. Offer is good till July 18th. Two more weeks, baby. Don't miss out on it. Uh, tune in next week for some more Do Not Worry goodness. And as always, do not worry.